do. But I I'm telling you, it's gonna be King Ranch all the way. Think so? Let's say I go to sleep and it's freezing, right? I'm freezing. I just disconnected the trailer and everything. I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's snowing. It's some tired. I just wanted to get some sleep, right? So I turn the heat way up. Yeah. Go to sleep. Next morning, can't breathe. Can't see. I turn. Might right? as well have a truck uh, that you can put like 22 exactly. degrees. Exactly. Put 21, there. 22, maybe even 6, 17. I'm not like yeah. I, I like I like cold, and just leave it. And that's that's the main thing for getting this King Ranch or whatever. This is Antoine. He works here at Olive. How do you say it in English? Olive Year. Olive Year. If you need anything, especially trucks, right? Yeah. Especially trucks. I like trucks. He's pretty awesome to deal with. So we're gonna get this deal on the go. Good morning. So do I have some exciting news for you today or what? It's finally happening. You guys can probably read. You probably read the title. It's happening. We're getting a new truck. I am super excited. This is all thanks to uh, Antoine at Olivier Ford. He's, uh, he's the one who said, you know what? If you want an F450, let's get you an F450. Let's get That's right. The new truck is an F450. It's going to be a 2020 F450 King Ranch because that's what you guys picked. I put up like a little poll a while ago on YouTube. It's probably still up here. You can probably still see it. You guys picked King Ranch. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> like I'm so excited. This thing is gonna be a beast. I don't even know what to say. This F450, it's gonna be a game changer. 10 speed transmission, 1,050 foot pounds of torques. I mean, we're playing with the big boys now. Oh, it's gonna be so good. And the F450, Even though it's a bigger truck than the F350, technically, it's gonna have a better turning radius, better brakes, better tires. Cannot wait. So we're gonna do like a vlog. Vl we're gonna do like a vlog thing today. I'm gonna hop in the F350. Not towing, unfortunately, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm on vacation, so you guys shush. And besides, you got the last video. Chew on that for a while because that was. That was insane, 35,000 pounds on an F-250. I mean, we barely made it up some of those hills. You know, when you're hauling a trailer and you're in first gear going up a hill, <laughs> there's nothing past first gear, you're done, that's it. Yeah, super awesome, that video. If you guys didn't watch it, go back and watch it. I mean, might be, no, screw the scratch. It is my finest work. The video, of course, is no fine wine. It's nothing that belongs on TV or anything, but it's pretty good compared to what I usually do. And I just love the comments in there, everyone saying you should get an F450 when I had an F450 ordered. And I was, we're super excited to be doing this for you guys. Because um, really, I wouldn't be getting an F450, I wouldn't be getting a King Ranch if it wasn't for you guys. I, I, just, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't really have the budget otherwise and wouldn't really have the need for it. So, yeah, so I'm going to finish my breakfast and uh, let's hit the road. There she is, in all her salty glory. It's not warm today. That's fine. Whew. Where's my jacket? There's two videos in a row now that I can't find my jacket. We're gonna fire this one up here now and let it warm up. Hopefully it starts. You never know in the cold if something's gonna start or not. That was close. That was close. It's pretty cold, so I don't really, I don't really blame it. Beautiful day for a truck ride, I think. Certainly a beautiful day for talking about this new F450 that's on the go. S still can't believe I'm saying that, but from when I was young, how much of a luxury these heated seats were, and now they're like in every vehicle. Truck's warm, I'm not. Let's get going. 
Diesels, for those of you that don't know, warm up faster when you're driving than when you're stopped. Uh, letting them idle is not necessary at all. Ooh, might want to put away a couple of these lenses though. This is definitely not one I want to break. Yeah, so we're going to take a little ride over to Lance Lou now. We're excited to announce that I'm getting a 2020 F450. Like I said, 6.7 with the with the 1,050 foot-pounds of torque. It's like too much. I don't even have a use for that. Or maybe we will. Maybe, maybe we'll end up using it. We'll see. The only thing I'm worried about is the transmission because, you know, why change what works? But, uh, I mean, Ford held on to the, the six-speed for a long time. So hopefully they're pretty confident in this 10-speed, and I'd say it's going to be a good move. I'd say this 10-speed is the right way to go. I put up a, a poll, like I said, uh, and you guys said, well, get a King Ranch. I mean, it's more exciting. There's more stuff to make videos about. It looks cooler. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same as this truck. So it's going to be this truck, but with commercial tires, bigger brakes, better transmission, better turning radius, a bit more power, and the beautiful King Ranch interior. Don't know when it's coming yet. Uh, let's message Antoine Sue. I'm working with a dealership, which is pretty awesome. One of the bigger Ford dealerships, if not the biggest dealerships in uh, Montreal. They get all the cool cars like the Shelbys. They get the, like, they had a Shelby F-150. They do awesome truck builds. That's pretty, they're pretty cool. It's a pretty cool spot. I'm um, super, super excited to be working with them. So Antoine reached out to me on Instagram. He asked, you know, well, if you want to get into a 2020 F450, he could help me with that. So we, so we made a deal pretty much, and he's going to get me into that 2020 F450, um, which really, it, I wasn't sure if I was going to pull the trigger or not, but when he called me and, you know, we talked about the terms and everything, um, it was 100% we were doing it. So this dealership, I mean, they're like 10, 15 minute drive from the house I grew up in pretty much. My parents were in the military, so we got posted around a lot, but my mother always had this house in Montreal. It's on the South Shore. So we got, we're also talking about doing some modifications. Things like I want to do to it are, you know, a back rack with some lights on it, CB, light bars, whatever, a whole, like to put maybe an air compressor on it, maybe an air rod, I don't know. What's wrong with this? Now, I am pretty loyal to the Ford brands. Um, I mean, th these trucks have never really let me down. Um, this new one had a few warranty issues, but after warranty, I mean, this thing has been perfect. And I had no drivetrain issues, nothing like that. Just the only thing that happened to this truck were little stupid plastic parts. The worst being the gas tank um, or the f diesel tank it imploded or something. Anything made out of plastic or rubber was having trouble on this truck. Like, I'm thinking this one sat for a year or two because these trucks started coming out in 2016. 2017 which was the model year and then late 2018 I bought it something and this one sat in the heat for like a year or two in the sun and just all the plastic and rubber got dried out because these trucks the thing with them is that you got to use them when you leave these trucks sitting and you don't use them that's when they start to deteriorate and they deteriorate pretty quickly so that's my theory this one is gonna be fresh off the conveyor belt um, they're building it it's being built right now I guess it's gonna be a fresh truck gonna see how well it works how it tows compared to this one I'm gonna find like a maybe a 20 25,000 pound load tow it up or down uh, that big 12% that's southeastern so we're gonna try hauling it over that and uh, I'm just gonna get like a benchmark and that's gonna be my testing grounds for whatever trucks that I test because that is a nasty hill and I mean if a truck can haul something up there it can haul something anywhere and after looking on YouTube I have not seen a single a towing video with the 10 speed yet if anyone has seen any or knows for any let me know I'd like to I'd like to look at it maybe make a little commentary on it I don't know if this truck comes in a month or two then that's gonna be a thing yeah so with that of course the sad news is I won't be keeping this truck that's the plan for now anyway I don't feel the need to have two expensive newish trucks on the go one new truck and then Backup trucks or extra trucks will be very used, maybe even depending on what it's for. As long as it's reliable, I mean, you don't need a whole bunch of new trucks. But for the sake of this YouTube channel, and because I'm more comfortable with a new truck, we're gonna we're gonna have a new truck. Here. So this one, I will be getting rid of this one. Of course, I'm gonna fix and get the tailgate put back on. I'm gonna get all the plastic trim fixed, the bumper, every, all the little things that happened over the years. Because don't forget, this is the truck that started my company. This is the truck I learned everything in. All the lessons, the hard lessons and the easy lessons were all learned in this truck. 
So this one got the brunt of it. <laughs> Fortunately now I haven't really beat anything up in a little while. It's been a while since I put a mark on this truck. Stopped putting chains in the back, you know, put the chains on the trailer. Um, decided not running a tailgate was the best thing to do because rocks bounce off the trailer and hit the tailgate. And hopefully now when we get this truck, keep it nice and clean, nice and new looking. Should be pretty good, but you'll be damned if you think I'm not going to work it. This truck proved itself. I mean, 170,000 kilometers, torturous kilometers, and this thing just keeps going, keeps trucking, doesn't complain. Ah, uh, so yeah, so I just figured I'd drop it into no more enterprises and uh, try to get my snowmobile fixed. So here's what's going on. Alright, so I'm Canadian, so this is normal. This is my 2010 Scandic V800. It's only got like 50 horsepower, but it's pretty fun. I lost the key for it last winter when I put it up. I've got a new one, but now they can't get it programmed, so there's a broken wire here somewhere. You guys moving this one too, or? Probably not gonna be done until next week. It's just a friggin' wire broke. I need the key. I need a new key program, and he can't program the key. That sucks. So somewhere deep inside of there, there's a wire broken. Turn the $50 key into probably a three or four hundred dollar repair now. This here is the plug they use for the diagnostics, and it instead of going like straight down to the computer, it goes in here somewhere. And they're thinking that a wire is chafed. So I'd be betting they're right. It's like no skidoo for Callan for a little bit. Oh, what can you do? Alright. Should have no problem. Here she goes. Alright, well. That's it, I guess. So I guess what I'm going to do with it is just take it home, take it apart, and fix it myself, and then bring it back up to get reprogrammed. So up here in Canada, we need our snowmobiles. Uh, I like to burn wood heat. I like to burn wood for heat. And that thing is kind of a key, in case it plays a key role in that. So, so while I was driving home, Antoine, and I'll finish this inside. Nothing better than a nice wood fire to end off the day. So I got the message from Antoine. He told me that the truck is going to be ready to go late February, early March. So I mean, if there were some delays, it wouldn't surprise me. There was some sort of a problem with the dualies. Um, they couldn't make them until like a week ago. I think after two years of messing around, it's time we get an F450 and do this properly. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, you know the drill. You know what to do. I'm not going to tell you. Let me know what you guys think of the choice for new truck 2020 f450 with the king ranch ultimate package super awesome super exciting yeah let me know what you think guys i'll see you in the next video take it easy you guys well you guys have a good day